What's up YouTube? It's your boy Juni back at it again with another video and today we're gonna show you guys how to stop the flood concept and I'm not talking about a regular corner route, I'm talking about like the deep, deep, deep corner routes which get over cloud flat. So uh you can come out in any defense. You don't have to be in 35i, you don't have to be in 35 dollar, you don't have to be in any popular defense to stop a flood concept. Uh, it's a very simple route combo. And um, it requires a lot of space on the field. You can't just do it, you know, on the 30-yard line. They have to be 50 yards or back. So what you're going to see is that this route combo right here is just blocking seven. So they have a lot of time in the pocket. They're going to have a deep corner route, and they're going to have a, a little uh, a five-yard in route, which makes you decide with your user who do you want to guard. Do you want to guard the in route and then give up a 30-yard post? Or do you want to guard the 30-yard post and give up you know a 10 plus yard in route it's an easy it's an easy answer it's you literally give up the in route if they run that play because you don't want to give up more yards but I want to show you guys how to lock up both routes and you know literally give up zero yards because who wants to give up 10 plus yards that's not cool so right here this time I'm gonna guard the in route the corner routes can be wide open and that's easy dot I know like it, it's very very you know you know, especially when they like when they're unpredictable with their plays, this play is super hard to stop because you know you don't know who what plays coming. Do I have to worry about B? Do I have to worry about X? Do I have to worry about the tight end? That's what makes bunch so good. But you know, everyone has their tendencies. If you know if if you know the deep spot is coming or cur pass curl flat, whatever the play is called with a deep corner out, it's a very it's an easy adjustment you can make to stop it, right? And all you have to do honestly is think about it. There's two routes you have to worry about. It's the corner route and it's the in route. So the smart thing to do is basically, instead of putting all the pressure on your user, you can make an adjustment with your defense, like many up your safety on the in route. And what that will do is that will make you, as the user, say, okay, I don't have to worry about the in route anymore. There's a streak on the corner route. Obviously, I'm gonna guard the corner route instead of the streak. And bam, the corner route's locked up the in route's locked up and basically basically the flight concept is locked up so right there the in route was not open the corner route was not open and there you have it for z spot being absolutely locked up we're going to show you guys again it's not fluke if you have the right players at the safety spot who is manning up on the in route he will not get toasted ever by an in route so in my Get your Deion Sanders, you know, in regs, get your Des Desmond Trufants, your Patrick Peterson, your, uh, what's his name? Um, I'm still thinking, dang. Desmond Truf Trufant and Patrick Peterson are the only people that just came up in my head. Right there, I did the route combo. The uh, a wrong route combo. Uh, I accidentally left the, a button a button hook on the left side. Should have put him on the in route. So we're going to do it again. So doing the route combo but yeah so if I was just like you guys you know I was 14 13 years old and I had no idea what I was doing maybe you're a little older maybe not I don't know but I had no idea what I was doing on defense and what I did was I started watching streams I started watching uh, YouTube videos and on how to get better and since you know I got so much better and a lot more knowledge I'm here to just show that all I'm, I'm here to show my knowledge by just helping you out with the basic basic stuff in Madden nothing too advanced just for the beginners in Madden right there as you can tell it's absolutely locking up the play with a one adjustment only one adjustment because look if I don't do that adjustment look at this the in route's wide open getting around 15 yards easily so you don't want to do that you don't want to just give up easy yards you want your offense to work for it I'm gonna do it again this time I'm gonna show you guys a different way to lock up the flat concept right this time you're gonna man up RB why because if you have a good guy there that's many up RB the RB route will be locked up and basically what that will do is now you have to worry now you have to think about it it's an in route corner route streak the corner route's gonna be manned up the corner route's gonna be bagged so you don't have to worry about the corner route anymore. And now all you have to worry about is this in route. And there's the pressure getting at the QB before RB gets any type of separation. So that's another way you can lock it up. It's just all about adjustments. 
like I said before, everyone has their own tendencies. They run stuff at certain times. And if you can figure out those tendencies and know when this play is coming, and that's and then you make your proper adjustments, that's what makes you a good defensive player. And it's not about only making one adjustment and then calling yourself a good defensive player. It's all about tendencies and then knowing what to do on the defensive side. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you know, it's, you know, giving you a better way on how to stop the flight concept because I know I've seen a lot of you guys get absolutely dotted from it. But yeah, I'm out of here though. Peace out until next video.